do you think, Doc? Huh? Am I doing good? What the fuck? What the fuck? Tell me you all just saw that. But um, I'm here to do. Oh, look at the group. Oh, oh, fuck me! Oh, holy shit! Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh my god! Gary with the helmet lamp. Oh my fucking god, Fry. No. Whoa, Black Betty, Bam 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 Whoa, ho, 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 What? Oh, I found an E now. <laughs> Holy shit. I just got fucking lit up and that scared the fuck out of me. It's so fucking big. No, 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 get out. Oh my god, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Nope. 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 I fucking heard that right in my fucking ear. Oh. Holy shit. Oh my god. That was right in my ear the second I shut that light off. All right, I'm um, gonna go check the truck and see if anything. I don't trust pictures up on the wall as I'm looking through things since the last demo. What's this? Storage room, small paper on the same storage room. Natural. <laughs> Damn it, I just fucking caught it, did I not? Oh, he pulled the same trick on me again. But after a while, you start seeing a sigil because you're losing control. All right, time for eye caps. Oh my god! Jesus fucking Christ, man. All I saw was his goddamn legs and his feet. 
Why are you gonna be fucking hunched up there like fucking Gollum? Time to mix some. There's the house. I'm sorry, what fucking noise was that? Fucking gunshots? Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the host, Steven. <laughs> Scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god. What? That's adorable, I love it. Oh uh, no! <laughs> Motherfucker. I just, just may have just shit myself. I saw it out in the distance, just the lightest little, not little, but like, out there. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? We're gonna die. We're gonna fucking- ah! Holy shit! What the fuck? Oh my fucking god. Holy shit! Alright, well, no sense of putting a beak in there unless you just say, don't ever fucking go there again! I do not miss that game one bit. I mean, I, I do miss it. It's... Deep Sea Fear just hits in a whole different light than anything else I play. Hello, everybody. Uh, what's today? It's Thursday. Monday holiday screwed me up. It's Thursday the 13th. Uh, we are coming up on the halfway point of October already. Not quite halfway to Jugtober because we go a few days. We're going to go a few days into November. Um, just because I want to be away for an extended amount of time. So, I want to make sure you sit. Shake at it. So, that's how tonight's going to go. Fucking bullshit! Uh, <clears throat> so, um, I'll lose my news to report today ah! <laughs> Polish ah! 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 Um, so yeah, we're sitting at four hundred and sixty four dollars and forty cents um, once we reach uh, the 500 milestone for the total donations uh, we'll be doing killer clowns from outer space um, pretty lady uh 
as much as I think we could get that done and actually watch the movie this weekend, I am on call starting today. Which sucks. So I may hold off till next weekend, and that way there's less stress on trying to get to that number. Uh, <coughs> oh, yo, Black Metal, what's up? Welcome in, bud. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to Bob, man. You going camping this weekend? Very nice. Whereabouts? Um, but yeah, I, the other movie we already unlocked is Nightmare... I, Night of the Living Dead, but we're going to do that towards the end of October on Knox's birthday. Hmm. Excuse me. Oh, Killington, Vermont. Very nice. Vermont's a great place. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Can we wait till we start playing the game first? My God. Thanks for the bits either way. I'm actually going to see your stream for once. Oh, I'll appreciate you. <laughs> that he does, Polish. That he does. Uh, so, I will say, I, I kind of cheated a bit today. Uh, truth, yeah. Uh, so, the poll in Discord says that I should play a Metal Hell Singer today. But I just really wasn't feeling a shooter. Or, or super action-y. Um, as much as I wanted to kind of retry Mental Hospital see if the flashlight would spawn this time through that the window too what sort of shit were you growing up apparently a massive one <laughs> um but uh yes yeah, so I, I figured i wanted to find something that was a bit puzzling but also creepy maybe some jump scares there i don't know i haven't heard too too much about it <laughs> mm-hmm uh, I've only heard a very little bit about this game, but it was all good things, and that's uh, SCP Secret Files. Uh, so I, I apparently am some person that uh, was trying to get uh, a PhD or something like that. I don't understand what the what field it was. I also couldn't. <laughs> Christ! Can we? Can we please? Get into the game first. All right, I guess I'm cracking this beer open now. To everyone here early, this is to you. Thank you much. Cheers. No. God, it's good beer. Um, so this game where apparently this person that got an invitation to work with the foundation behind SCP and we're going to be basically like a desk jockey. <laughs> it's like filling up paperwork um, about the secrets that are lurking within. I'll be asleep soon. I'm old. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, so I'm not too sure where this game's going to be heading, but I'm going to try to hit the new game button. See if that gets us anywhere. Um, but yeah, let's hop on over. See if it restarts from scratch. Oh, it does. Fifth margarita. Oh, great. All right, so there's auto save. Headphones are on. Good to go. Yes, yeah, so this is all based on a wiki that lives online. Horror content warning. The game contains horror scenes and content. I couldn't read all that. Excuse me, bitch! Drink out of my Eddie beer glass. Nice. Can't even do two margaritas without tapping out. <laughs> yeah, especially if you like him strong, that's for sure. Press any button to begin. <laughs> I am Carl. Carl Astana. A few months ago, I was preparing my dissertation in a restaurant on L Street. The pies there were rather to my liking. I became startled when the man sitting across me suddenly shouted out, The pies here are total shit. Oh, Polish, thank you so much for the donation, buddy. You won't tell me how much I missed it. Oh my god, he pushed it to 500. You motherfucker. 
Dude, thank you so much, man. Uh, uh, that's... Dude, it's wild. Holy fuck. All right, so we get a plan. Um, Killer Clowns from Outer, uh, Killer Clowns from outer Space uh, very soon. If not this weekend, definitely next weekend for sure. Uh, thank you so much, dude. That is super generous of you, and I appreciate you so much. My taste in beer reflects my journal state of being bitter. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> I was seeing that there were other empty tables in the restaurant. I said to this man, excuse me, I don't believe I know you. Is there something I can help you with? Or look, the seat's occupied. Find yourself at the table, all right? I mean, I'm sitting there by myself. Let's not be rude about it. I don't want to match that energy. Without answering, make you talk to himself. Well, look, see, here you, here you are. Graduate student, clearly need a job, huh? Well, it just so happens that we have just the job for you. The man paused to add emphasis. <laughs> Fucking Demogorgon. Thank you for the bits. A mysterious, mysterious job. A wonderful, wonderful one. Thank you, but I have no interest in your proposal. Mysterious, wonderful, huh? Sounds interesting. Yeah, wonderful. <clears throat> Let's do that. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. And they handed me a business card. Both sides of the business card were black, with three letters printed neatly on one side. SCP. Click to open envelope. We apparently live in Madison, Wisconsin. Mr. Carl Astana, congratulations on becoming a member of the SCP Foundation. The Foundation highly values your knowledge and expertise, and we firmly believe that you are the one we have been searching for. You will, be, you will assume the position of Assistant Archivist in the Archive Department Group 3. Director Chuck Oyer will be your superior. Please go to the Security Office of Sector... Is that Echo? No. Sigma? No. I don't know my Greek alphabet. Fuck. Sector E. We're going to save for now. On, uh... This <laughs> is fuck. Thank you for the biddies. Uh, August 13th, 2012. 0900 hours to pick up your employee card. We look forward to working with you. Personal Department of Site 105 SCP Foundation. Secure, contain, protect. All right. I'm going to head to work, I suppose. At uh, the SCP Foundation. Oh, God. That is a lot of fucking cells. Since the beginning of civilization, the world has been full of unknown things. Due to their existence, the balance of mankind's oh boy. life has been upset. Yeah, it's the juggernaut, bitch! No oh, thanks, Black Metal. Testing. Oh, uh, they have a lot of prisoners in this location. Is that thing? Oh, he's trapped in there. He's a big boy. Jesus Christ. Do you have to slam the door? <clears throat> Holy shit. This is a big, big location. I've seen lots of SCP games, and this one looks fucking massive in terms of what's stored here. Okay.
Friday at 9 p.m. Uh, can't open that door. I don't have a card. Oh. Sleeve those things out. Enter room 914. Okay. Yeah. What the fuck was that? Yeah. Go ahead. It's curious to get into any of these rooms. It's the Hoover Dam. Okay. All right, here we are. Jeez. This is my office? My God. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. Thank you for the bitties. I hope I have a snake or something. All right. I guess we get to work now. Is the ID legal? <clears throat> um, our education was MIT. Interesting. Wow, I've got the year of birth right. Can I change anything else here? No. Weird this doesn't have a black background, though. Whatevs. <laughs> You'll have access to classified and top secret archives. Please confirm that you are aware of all confidentiality clauses and agree to swear by and strictly adhere to all SCP Foundation regulations and guidelines. Sure. Welcome to the SCP Foundation. Before starting your work, please allow us to introduce to you the software used in the archive department. <clears throat> Each day, your superior will assign tasks to the mission module. When there's new tasks, the button will blink red to remind you. Thanks. Communication within the site relies primarily on the instant messaging system where information is processed using level two encryption. Please pay attention to blink red reminders and view them promptly. Training is an effective means of information sharing within the foundation. New employees must first participate in new employee training before they may begin work. This page shows public information of all sites around the world. You can view the information. What the dog doing? Apparently knocking on the door. <laughs> Jesus. This concludes the introduction. Wish you success in your work. Cool. Uh, I can't click on training. None of those things are clickable. How did the mission go again? Did the information gathered on SP-1299 go smoothly? It was damn close to time like I know how to swim. What? So never... Carl, how about introducing yourself first? So do we take it in the sense of like just being professional or we're like, hey, we're here to have a good time? Well, that's what I would typically do. You can call me Carl. Contact with SCP-999 during working hours is strictly prohibited. Interesting. Double major in biology and philosophy? Wow. <clears throat> M-I-T. Oh, that's pretty awesome. It seems MIT is not popular here, or is it just me, or do I sense a hint of jealousy? Huh? I don't think it's that. I guess it's maybe not popular. Not turning specifically pallets, all these prestigious graduates. Enough, Ken. <laughs> Those multi archive department. 
Don't you feel you've forgotten about Jonathan? So like this Jonathan left a bad impression on you. You guys watch Rick and Morty last night? <laughs> Thank you for the pits. The tragedy he went through was inevitable. How dangerous could dealing with paperwork possibly be? <laughs> he lost his left hand because he touched SCP-247. I can't even eat medium rare steak anymore. Hey, Stuart. More stuff with this boring show. Hello there. Accent, who cares? He was a prestigious graduate, the higher con consumer rate than Class D personnel. Relief station. Rick and Morty is not a children's cartoon. <laughs> Again, I think you scared Carl. If any of you are planning on getting some serious work done today, then please do me a favor and just shut the hell up. Damn, Chuck. You need to focus on your work. What a dick. Is there a okay, mission? not completed last time. Sweet modification. Blah, blah, blah. Don't push yourself too hard. Got it. What a dick. Stuart. Got it, boss. <laughs> That's all the class A archive must be handed by the end of the day. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. What's my job, Director R? We need to review, organize, catalog, and modify all existing containment archives. We need to hire a young man. We need to attend the new employee onboarding training first before you can begin working at the foundation officially. The system will send you a meeting notice. All right, Director R. Hey, Director R. Oh, God. Some cult shit. This place is not what you think. You must abandon your past self and start again from zero if you hope to learn to survive here. No one will take care of you. You must demonstrate your own ability. Understood. The new play onboarding training will be hosted by Dr. Ham this time. You will suffer, Carl. I said you prepare a paper bag for the vomit to come. Oh, great. He's just messing with you. Dr. Ham is one of the most knowledgeable containment specialists in the Foundation. Guys, you still have no idea what you'll be doing, do you? Now, move it. He's on fire! Am I? <laughs> Thank you for the pits. The course you signed for is about to begin. Please join the meeting in the training system. Okay. Application of special containment equipment. Steven Tyler? Apparently that's the uh, next conference, but I'm not supposed to join that one yet. I can join this one. Zelda. Nice. Alright, access account authority. Done. Let's join the conference. <clears throat> Training is about to begin. Jason Carter is a death row inmate. In exchange for clemency, he has agreed to work with the SCP Foundation for 30 days. Upon completion of his work, he will be a free man. Jason Carter is now D503. I will beat the shit out you with Charles. I will beat the shit out you with Charles. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna shit out that bitch. God. Wait, so I have to be him now? Why am I this dude? 
Oh god, I thought I was gonna be a paper pusher. I have to be inside the fucking foundation itself. Now, what thing is this? All right, let me see if I can crank up the uh, graphics a bit on this. All right, they're already relatively high, apparently. I don't want motion blur, though. Um, great. What the D503 fuck? was given no clear instruction of the task to be completed. He must find them out for himself. What the fuck? Collect the waste. For the bits, when I would flip the truck. Damaged petrol tank. Okay. They actually let me outside, so this is kind of nice. Where is it? There it is. Tire. Discarded tires. Okay. Yeehaw. Oh shit, slow down. That was an like actual hazardous waste. Cock. A tin drum with a dangerous sound. <laughs> Great. Move to the incinerator. Okay. We'll get there eventually. Oh, it's way out here. Oh. Hit the jump. Yeah, oh my god. Right, you bitch. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> oh, fantastic timing. Please pull down the lever to confirm and incinerate. Okay, cool. So you incinerate the truck too. Oh, it just I see. This was D five three first day of work. If that's all you do in a day for work, that's great. SCP protocol mandates that D-503 now undergo a psychological evaluation. Level 2 mental test. Access your current mental state. Please drag the left graphic fragment into the back square area to fill the whole square area. Okay, just like this. 
Uh, and then that. And then that. Boom. Another one? God damn it. Result correct. I did that pretty quick. Not the fastest, but pretty good. That was day one. Time to eat. Yeah, burger. I ain't too snappy. Oh. Well, thanks for that, I guess. Still delicious achievement unlocked. All right, time to sleep. Interesting. This was the first day D-503 psychological data was collected. You're probably wondering, how can this job earn freedom for a death row inmate? Correct. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Raymond Ham from Site 83. Welcome to today's training conference. Today, I'm going to share with you a little project I've been working on called SCP-7457. The desert you saw just now is SCP-7457. Oh. D-503 is a volunteer who we invited to help us learn more about this desert. Prior to the Foundation's involvement with SCP-7457, 329 people went missing in this area. What? As a precaution, we have introduced lockdown measures as we attempt to find the cause of these disappearances. As everyone here is new to the Foundation, it will be good for you to learn about SCP-7457. Let me explain how it works. Before we get started, are there any questions? Dr. Ham, I'm Will Barton, 3rd Special Squad, Site 86. Hello, Will. Before I came here, I thought I had a basic understanding of the Foundation. I've heard of these anomalies, but only in terms of human anomalies. I had no idea that SCP-7457 was a desert. How do we begin to make sense of this? That's a good question, Will. All the unexplained phenomena we are monitoring are being labeled anomalies. Human anomalies, regional anomalies, artifact anomalies, and various other phenomena beyond our control. The work of the Foundation is to isolate these anomalies and prevent the public from shall we say, experiencing them? Okay, next question. Hello, Dr. Ham. Hey, Mark. I'm Mark Harris, a research intern from Site 27. In a video, we saw D-503 picking up garbage in the desert. Why did it do that? And what does this have to do with anomalies? Okay, Mark. What I can tell you now is that everything you see oh, is hi, part of SCP-7457. <laughs> SCP anomalies can be a little difficult to understand at first. Just know that it, or they, have their own rules. Perhaps you'll understand what I mean once we finish watching the video. Okay, let's move on. Down to day eight, so a week the later. The first week was fairly normal. However, there was an interesting occurrence. On the eighth day. I'm awake, I'm awake. I like the uh this this uh art style. 
It reminds me of that game, Sable. It wants to be cartoony, but it's not cartoony. If that makes Let's sense. Have a look at what happened. Yes, Dr. Ham. Oh, shit. It's during the day. Or, uh, night, rather. It's not typical. Ooh. Come on, you get there. Iron bucket. I thought I heard something. Must be my footprints, I uh, footsteps rather. Alright, we'll pick up this next thing. Conditioner. Fair enough. Let's get the last piece. a lot of effort to carry. All right, we are off to the incinerator. Day is almost done. It off. He finally had completed his task. However, he did not realize that he had already encountered his first anomaly. Well, yeah, the desert is a whole anomaly, so. Or maybe that spindle was an anomaly. Who knows? Ah, uh, mental test again. Three pictures with triangles. One, two, oh, three, right there. Select three pictures, the calculation re results are equal to five. That one, that one. Right, so with this. <laughs> huh? What did I fuck up on? Five plus zero is five. Five plus five plus five in parentheses. Oh, right, because that's not in parentheses. I'm so dumb. Dumb. Oh, yeah. One plus one plus one plus. I'm silly. Yay. Time to sell the contract time. Done in 22 days. Sleep. That night, D-503's psychological data 
This is physiological. Normal fluctuations. Analysis tells us that D503 is dreaming. Unfortunately, though, we have no way of knowing what he dreamed of that night. We're going to see it anyways. Looks like a beach. It was a four digit number on there, but I couldn't read it. The eighth day marked a significant turning point the start of SCP 7457's impact on D503. Are there any questions before we go on? Hello, Dr. Ham. I'm Spencer Jones from the Special Operations Department of Site-21. Hello, Spencer. It's still unclear as to why D-503 needs to pick up all of this trash. If you wanted to monitor his psychological response to SCP-7457, why not just leave him out in the desert? Why assign him these tasks when there are already psychological evaluations taking place? Okay. Our analysis has indicated that SCP-7457 produces a new cluster of trash every eight minutes and 37 seconds. If waste collection is not done regularly, all that trash may soon flow into our world. Oh. It is worth noting, though, that the quantity of waste created here pales in comparison to the amount produced by humans. <laughs> However, it still has the potential to become a significant problem in the future. By assigning these tasks to D-503, we can monitor his reactions while also containing the trash. There is another reason, but we will get to that one later. Is it not the case that the Foundation is exaggerating the importance of a minor issue before the issue is fully understood? Okay, everyone. I must emphasize that behind us is the general public, who are wholly unaware of any of this. Being meticulous and maintaining a serious attitude is essential at the SCP Foundation. Any oversight or underestimation of the enemy may result in disaster. Thank you, Dr. Ham. I understand. I'll be quiet, Spencer. Good. Let's move on. The effects of SCP-7457 on D-503 became most obvious on day 15 of the test. Due to the conditions that day, we were only able to track his movements after recovering data from his radar. It was definitely a bad day, perhaps the worst. Yikes. Even for a death row inmate. Day 15. Wake up. Oh, I was already out there, okay. found a radar that perfectly resembled his own. However, D-503 didn't seem to think much of it. Another spool. Back to the incinerator. All right. 
right. Heading back in again. Another job well done. Persistent adverse physiological reactions proved to be a challenge for the 503. He still managed to complete his work on day 15. Oh shit. D-503 walked in the sandstorm for a long time, but he couldn't seem to find his way back. Oh. So bright. The right way to go, right here. The red light. Or this is going to be a trap. that I mean my dream what the fuck why Approximately 13 hours later, a visibly trembling D-503 returned to Site-8. We immediately performed a psychological evaluation. Because of course... Whoa. Major fluctuations can now be observed in D-503's physiological data. of the psychological evaluation were so troubling we had to abort the mission can I have a burger please D503 was able to break away from the foundation's control he has seen the test results of the personnel at SCP-7457. That's right. None of the Level D personnel at SCP-7457 have ever been able to leave this desert. Where do we go? 
out. Do I just drive, I guess? often believe that their fate is in their own hands, that all choices come from their own free will. They don't realize that we humans form only a small part of this world. Out there, in the unknown world, we are as insignificant as a grain of sand in this vast desert. Jesus. Everything just coming back to that fucking payphone booth. I'm not sure what's going on, but my asshole is in danger. It's true. It's very true, Tree. Those coils were bodies all the time. Oh my god. And incinerated. will suffer varying degrees of psychological stress within an acute period. It manifests as a range of neurological and mental disorders, as well as severe and unexplained hallucinations. So far, not one participant has left the desert unscathed. The Foundation has tested 31 Level D personnel in an area spanning 2,267 square miles. Fuck. Our testing continues. When you work for the Foundation, you will face various anomalies. Some can kill you, some may drive you crazy, and some will make you feel that living is worse than death. Let this be very clear. SCP-7457 is just a taste of what you will face in the future. Before joining the Foundation, you were all <laughs> leaders in your respective fields and industries researchers, special forces, 
FBI agents, national security experts. Well, SCP does not care how smart you are, how accomplished you are. It doesn't matter to them how many doctorates and titles you have. You are no different from helpless ants when confronted with these anomalies. Remember this. It is the most important advice you will receive. Do not take risks. You will die. You are not as special as you think you are. If you encounter an anomaly, put your pride and curiosity aside. Run. Because that's the only thing you can do. God won't protect you here. <laughs> Welcome to the Foundation, rookies. I'm Dr. Raymond Ham, and this ends the first class of our employee induction program. Well then. Arranged appropriately? Uh, sure. Seems qualified. Connection was smooth. Uh, meeting was punctual. Yeah. Hi, Carl. Don't throw up on the floor. Huzzah! And... Everyone here wants to teach you something, Carl. Live with it. Come on, Stuart. Past hours been torture. I don't know how the others managed to hold on. I messed up during the train session. I jumped off a cliff, fell into the icy water, and choked hard. I don't know how I even can recall any of this because I have no memory of ever visiting any cliffs or waterfalls. But it was all so real. I can even taste in my mouth now the foul taste of the river water. But in any case, it's my first day at the foundation. I go to the cafeteria and get something to eat. Maybe they'll make my stomach feel better. Oh yeah, I got new files to work on. Do I get one this time? Why do you send a field work again? Stop complaining. <laughs> How do I feel now? I'm ready for a new job. <laughs> All right. Just one thing, MIT boy. Trip to follow the regulations, do not act on your own without authorization. Thanks, I got it. So as we have my first mission. Wubba lubba dub dub, god damn it. Alright, let's move. Stuart loves his fucking Rick and Morty. Okay. What do prison and caps lock have in common? Oh no. What? Jesus Christ. Okay. 
So enter data regarding the investigation reports into the archive system on the right, method of operation. Click text with red underline. I'm Agent Q from the Accident Investigation. <laughs> Containment breach occurred at Pony Station, and contact with the Foundation has been lost. Agent Bella Lawrence was given orders to enter Pony Station and retrieve the black box. Following is a transcript of the interview with Bella Lawrence. Okay. Oh, this is an interesting name. Oh, Obito Thariel, Thariel, Obito Thariel, Obito Thariel. I'm so sorry. Welcome to the mob. Thanks for the follow. Let's go to sleep. Hope you can crack the case. Thanks, Fry. Have a good night. I appreciate you. Hope you sleep well. And Obito, uh, how did you find us here today? Out of curiosity. Just did? Just randomly found me? Oh, okay then. Welcome in. Happy to have you. We're playing some uh, SCP secret files. Where is the black box? Where did the black box go? We have it right now. I brought it back. I brought the black box back. Don't lie to us. You never brought it back. Uh-oh. No, that that's impossible. I remember. I completed my assigned task. I I swear. I stop with that. <laughs> All right, here now. This isn't an interrogation. We're not here to lay blame or point any fingers. Is this Ham? Sounds like Dr. Ham. Looks like him, too. Bella, I'm terribly sorry to have to bother you in such a state, but it is critical that we find that black box. We need to know what happened at Pony Station. My, my memory's a mess at the moment. That's fine. Hello there. Slowly. Hello step there. Step. General Why don't Kenobi. we start from the moment you received your mission? Tell us what you remember. One eternity okay. later. <laughs> that night. Currently heading to mission site Site 74 Pony Station. We'll arrive in about three minutes. Very good, Sparrow. It's been 48 hours since the Foundation lost contact with Pony Station. SCP-701 experiments there have been ongoing. We have reason to suspect a containment breach. Fuck. What is my mission? According to Foundation Security Regulation 709S, each site must have a black box placed in a secure area to assist in identifying the cause of an accident, should one occur. Your task is to investigate the situation and retrieve the black box. Black box? Got it. Okay, I've arrived. I've arrived. All right, let's see. Hold shift to speed up. Well, I've been doing that already. I'm able to observe the mission site from here, but it doesn't seem like one of the Foundation's secure facilities. Pony Station, officially known as Site 74, was originally a hydroelectric power station. After it was abandoned, the Foundation repurposed it as one of their sites. Initially, it was used only to contain a few safe-level anomalies. But recently, it's also taken over SCP-701. I don't know all the details. We won't know the truth until you retrieve the black box. Got it. I'll complete the task as instructed and retrieve the black box. 
that phone number? A device capable of measuring the humes of an area and calculate the rally bending rate in real time. Reality Anchor. A device capable of stabilizing the humes of surrounding areas, one of the best weapons for combating against reality bending and reducing the psychological damage in an area. Y blocker. 60 milliliter per injection. Inject this blocker to stop neurotransmitters from behaving erratically as a result of unavoidable reality bending. Jesus. Okay. There's nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've just entered Pony Station. Mm -hmm. Retrieve the black box from the lab. Room 705. The elevator. Seventh floor. Sparrow. Must. What's that? Oh, oh God, the stability rate. This is out of the safe range. I'll place a reality anchor. Oh, it's time, baby. It's time, baby. But she, welcome in, my friends. What up, my dude? Oh, and he's in the resub. Nine months. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. How was your stream? I think you were playing the uh, that Vietnamese game. Did you finish it? How was it? We're playing SCP Secret Files. Okay. Much better. Now let's find that elevator. The elevator? Out of that stairs, sending resource request form. <laughs> Jesus fuck! Piss me off. There's a puzzle that was rough. I'll get it figured out. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Candy. Welcome in, my friend. Shit, the rage didn't come up. Oh, yeah, Twitch Mobile is so bad. All the plans, All right, I'll go through it again. I found a fucking quarter. We excited about a fucking quarter. around here I can knock over. <laughs> Shit. Thank you for the bits. My word. Where is this fucking elevator?
can't put a quarter in these things. I wanted to look. I like this game so far. Um, it's it's interesting so far. Um, like you play a lot from the uh, perspective of people that lived through an, an event, but like the main character is just someone that got a job here. One oh one written on it. Good to know. <laughs> fucking bullshit. Goddamn fucking mannequins. <laughs> okay. Duty regulations. All personnel on duty shall not leave early. Absence from work is strictly prohibited. Personnel who cannot be on duty due to special circumstances shall prompt according with the relevant site director. All personnel shall strictly comply with the prescribed regulations and rules pertaining to the access of classified files. All personnel on duty shall fit in the inspection form truthfully and correctly. If a situation that cannot be handled independently should arise, personnel must immediately report the incident. Spare key to room one one place under the flower pot in the visitor's lobby. If used, please place it back in its original location. No, I will not. Tyler Cooper's journal. Today I read Dr. George Thompson's research log for SCP-701. Could it be true? Has he really been performing comparison experiments on chimpanzees this whole time? What could he have planned? Does he not realize what he is up against? This whole thing is turning out to be an ungodly mess. It's now abundantly clear why the Foundation transferred him out of Pony Station, leaving me to take over his post. He was performing the experiment all wrong. The whole direction of the project was all wrong. SP-71 holds great potential. I still believe that. I will have to adopt a new method of study. Efficient, fast, direct. It all begins tomorrow. Oh boy. Dr. Tyler Cooper. I've heard of this guy. A bit of an eccentric and a thrill seeker. So with the papers flying. The elevator. that uh. oh, God damn rats I'm over. Oh, okay, I'll do that now. Oh, I can do it right now. Climb over that way, too. Um, where'd the mannequin go? I jumped through, and there was a mannequin just next to that window. What else we really do here? I'm bad. 
I'm a baddest motherfucker. Angel world. baby. Thank you so much for the resub. Four months now, my word. Thank you, thank you. Super appreciate everyone's generosity today. Climb over again. Can't open any of that. In here. Purchasing list supplied by Frandy's department store. Purchase your Abraham Hydro power plant. Data application 21st January 2009. Quantity two multimeters, two. Oh, yeah. So two multimeters, two maintenance kits, three wire cutters, two hydraulic clamps, two. <laughs> Yes, yeah, celebrate with that air horn. Nothing else is here. Huh. Well, none of this has been bothersome. I just wish I knew what the hell my fucking objective was. You can't really interact with much around here, which makes life e oh. This must be the elevator. To the seventh floor, then. Well, before we do that, let's make sure everything's good in here in the office. Flashing blue screens, that's not good. Hmm. Blood we offered. The hanged king we served. I serve my king with my blood? Blissful suffocation? Sacrifice of sin? What's this? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Love and hugs and all the good drugs. <laughs> Thanks, Angel Baby. I'm tapping E. Oh, tap it faster. Almost got me. I'm very familiar with cognito hazards. I've been trained to deal with them. But this wasn't anything like that. I couldn't breathe. It was like there was a knot tied around my throat. I was weightless, hanging, gasping. No matter how much I struggled, nothing helped. That does sound terrifying. But perhaps it was just a nightmare, though. Uh. No. We wake up from nightmares. Not from this. Me? Nope. Oh, Jesus. My God. Fucking crash test dummies definitely want to hang out. I guess I'm taking the stairs. After I check everything else. God damn it, they moved again. Why does it have to be fucking mannequins? What the fuck is that? What the? just ran past me and fucked off. I 
don't like these fucking things. Duke Sortino, the chains of fate coil like a poisonous snake. It's not only me they seek to entangle, but also you. Gonzalo, the curse before death is frightening indeed. Petruchio, get this meddler out of my sight. Let dead men remain speechless. Petruchio extends the, no the noose and strangles Sortino's neck. Sortino, traitor, usurper. Arr! <laughs> Fucking, I knew it. I knew something like that was going to happen. Fuck you. Piece of shit. Uh, what does that say? That says help. Medication. Oh, great. There's one's on the shitter over here. Lord of something. What do you got, pal? Isabella, if the lies of the monarchy were to be recorded in a book, the archivist would never know a moment's rest. It would eventually become overburdened with fatigue. Maid Beatrice. Empress, Lord Antonio is here. Isabella, what is that you say? My strange son? Why would he come to see me in the convent? Go get me my very best dress at once and prepare a glass of poisoned wine. Maid Beatrice, as you say. Maid Beatrice leaves. Isabella, what sad truth. The dice rolls with lies and bears my name, and the martyr under this conspiracy shares my own flesh and blood. Well then. Are you... I was going to say, you didn't do the thing, but then they dropped screws next to me. Fucking dicks. God. Fuck you. Can we get in here? No, I can't. At least not through that way. Oh. Cognito hazard. Could it have something to do with SCP-701? The situation here is much more serious than I expected. To say the least. Huh. I get down from here without getting hurt. Right here. Uh. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh, that one's at his desk. Check the computer. Miss Irene Mabel, recently former system assistant of Dr. Tyler Cooper, Miss Lisa Amanda was removed because of her refusal to carry out the experimental orders given by Dr. Cooper. The 16th of, she was injected with Class A am amnest amnestics and sent away from sight. To fill this role and at the behest of Dr. Cooper himself, St. Manchester decided to use the role of Senior Experimental Assistant. Your interview and authorization session will be held today at 13.30 hours. Room 711, please come prepared. Form encrypted. Cool. Act 2, Persona, Gonzalo Antonio, Isabella Lodovico, Francisco, Scene, Convent Inn. Act Description. To cover up the truth, Gonzalo orders the arrest of the three men who witnessed the Queen's confession and imprisons the Queen in the convent. Gonzalo then goes to have a secret meeting with Ambassador Alagada after learning of the Queen's captivity, and Tony begins to plot his revenge. <laughs> God damn it, I hate that. On December 19th, local time, a mass uh, incident involving several students in the auditorium of Princester High School took place. The incident escalated into a violent riot with fighting on a mass scale. 
The incident reportedly took place in the auditorium while blank, as all participants were in the process of blank. This triggered the audience to attack each other, resulting in 13 deaths and 27 injuries. The cause of the incident is unknown at this time. That's fucking weird. Must be the archive room. Act three, Persona, Gonzalo, Antonio, Alinda, Francisco, Isabella, Petruccio, Sortino, and Atellus. Scene, ballroom in the convent. Act description. Gonzalo kills an eyewitness and orders the royal chef to make a stew from his body. What the fuck? The witness's daughter, Alinda, is then placed in the convent. Antonio and his squire enter the convent to confront the queen. She tries to kill Antonio, but he sees through her plan. She's left to suffer the consequences. As Antonio and his squire evacuate the mon uh, I think it's supposed to be monastery, they encounter the imprisoned Alinda. Fucking douchebag, dude. Don't do that. Quite a nice fan, I will say. Oh, the file cabinet handle. Cool. Got that. It's important. Proceed to switch pictures. Hanged King's Tragedy. It's all very unusual these days. Many people have come to the site, but they haven't registered with the authorities. I've heard that Cooper and his team are rehearsing a script into a play, and that all participants are required to record their daily status. My experiment has to be put on hold because there's no one left to work on it. That sucks. It's not right. I'll write an email to the minister. And inform him of the malpractice going on here. Who's that? Jesus. Who's that? Well, not the other mannequin, that's for sure. Oh, I see. Okay, onward and upward through these creepy air vents. At first, most of the on site personnel were apprehensive about participating in this project. Perhaps distributing some SCP 701 documents for to a few volunteers, they became widely circulated and the number of people coming to sign up suddenly increased. It's rather curious how it happened, and I haven't quite figured out the reason behind it yet, but it's welcome news. I'll take it as a good omen. Now I managed to mo mobilize the entire station to participate. Every single person. It's my chance to prove myself. An opportunity like this doesn't come every day. Hmm. Strange. Dr. Cooper needs so many volunteers. What on earth is this SCP-701? Good question, because I can't remember. Ugh. Jesus fuck. I don't know what that is, just keep going. Fuck that. Okay. Finally luck is on my side. This ought to get me to the seventh floor. Third floor? And they don't open, apparently. Oh, you have to go down. I see. And this will be five.
The Hank the King's tragedy, sacrifice everything. Rehearsal notice. First group rehearsal, May 23rd, 7 46 a.m. Location conference room, fifth floor. Second group rehearsal, May 26th, 11 11 a.m. Warehouse 603, sixth floor. And final group performance, May 27th, 9 p.m. Room 705, seventh floor. That must be where we're going. Sixth floor. Mm. What the hell is going on here? Fourth floor again? What the fuck? I was hoping to get to seven this way, but I don't think it's going to work. No, it's bring a minute down to a seven. I heard a ding. the first one okay Why, that's all of them. Let me in. All right, now I'm confused. Maybe I'm not following the, this.
I don't really know what to do here. Oh, there's gotta be something about time in here. Oh. 746 on the fifth floor. 1111 on the sixth. Seven forty six on the fifth floor. Okay. This is the sixth floor. I think it's eleven eleven. Yep. I knew I'd figure it out eventually. Doesn't sound good. Uh, stability rate's looking better. Rats. Unbelievable. What is that smell? When was the last time they cleaned this place? Do I keep resetting? I will 100% take the wire cutters, thank you. Don't look inside. Oh shit. It's that voice again. Voice. What voice? I'll serve my king with my blood. Bless me, suffocation. Tell us what it's saying. Sacrifice of sin. No, 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 no. Fella, are you feeling better now? Suffocation, like a rope looped around my neck, pulling tight. Rapers no. Hanging. Nothing around me. Just my feet dangling, struggling, fighting. It will swallow me and make me its slave. Ella, you are completely safe here. Look, it's a hot chair. Okay, let's continue. The situation there was much worse than expected. Much worse. I knew I had to get in touch with the Foundation. Uh, I managed to find a phone, and I called her back up. This is Sparrow, 0 Goddamn payphones. For Bald Eagle. I'm at Pony Station on the seventh floor. The situation here is much worse than expected. I need backup. Bella, are you sure this is actually what happened? What do you mean? Yes, of course I'm sure. Come on, Bella. Try and focus. What are you talking about? Bella, you never made that phone call. I, of course I... What? I... Pony Station was completely cut off. There was no contact with the outside world whatsoever. A phone call? That would have been impossible. No, I... But I saw... Jesus. Tell us what you saw.
Oh, fuck. running what do I do what do I do there Shucks. Oh boy. It's unclassified. The experiment was a multi object project with SCP blank, blank, and blank. Experiment primarily focused on researching the process of reality distortion led by Dr. George Thompson. The project lasted for a duration of five days. During the first three days, two Rorschach tests were conducted on SCP blank and blank. Level 3 hypnosis experiment was also conducted on 3 level D personal influence by SCP blank. Within a short period of time, the experimental subjects revealed varying degrees of immersion state and on the fourth day claimed being in a primary forest. The trees here are mainly Sequoia and <laughs> Pinus Carabea. On the same day, the hume level of the surrounding environment was decreased to 37. On the fifth day, the described scene began to invade reality causing the original experiment site and six experimental subjects to go missing. The project was forced to be suspended. There are no further investigation reports concerning this area. Dr. Thompson believes the experiment was primarily influenced by the reality distortion effects of SCP blank, and thus could be considered its creation. SCP blank dash one uncoded officially. A detailed experiment record can be found in the internal documents site 105, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Electricity needed, huh? Hello there. Yo, Arco, what's up? Welcome in. We're playing some SCP secret files. Had a couple good scares here and there. These fucking mannequins, I tell ya. Let's start along the left wall here. On April 27th, local time, five students were involved in a collective blank incident at the Cleveland Institute of Arts, Drama Club in Ohio, and other faculty member died of stab wounds. A janitor was taken into custody as a suspect in the incident. The statement mentioned that four students used the blank from the ceiling during rehearsals. 
which was then repeated by the last remaining person after they assaulted the teacher. The teacher died two hours later. Following their forensic investigation of the scene, it was determined that the janitor had no clear motive for committing the crime. He's currently going for an observation in a psychiatric hospital. So, Arco, how you been? How you been? What have you been up to today? Okay, yep, this is it. Oh, fuck me. They're gone again. Hello? Hello? One of these lockers? No. Can't open that door. matter oh it won't close that's not good I really wanted my privacy running through here as fast as I can oh for fuck's sakes Ooh, that's close. Down to 18% there for a second. All these fucking mannequins everywhere. What the fuck? Shit. Uh, this may not be very calming. Just a heads up. Happy to have you, though. Act 5, Persona, Gonzalo, Antonio, and Linda, Francisco. The rest of the audience. Scene, Banquet Hall. Act description. At the banquet, Antonio bursts in and confirms Gonzalo's murderous crime as well as his own lineage. Gonzalo is deposed by an angry group of ministers. Instead of killing Gonzalo, Antonio exiles him to the convent. Antonio then orders his squire to plan his wedding with Linda and the plans with the dance by the group of courtiers. Well, that's nice. Happy endings are always pretty nice. I can't pick that up. That sucks. But nice to have a upgraded key card. I don't see anything over there. Wait, they're getting back up. Happy endings, yes. <laughs> fucking dead blood. What's up, tree? What fucking room is this? Uh oh. Where's the black box? It must be up there somewhere. Yeah, right in the, right on the podium. How sweet. Okay. Can I go up here? No. I just pressed the button. How you doing tonight, man? 
as you can see, we broke 500 uh, total donations. We'll be doing uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space real soon. And nothing back here. Come on. Can't open that up. Type of sorry tree bread. Tree bread. All right, elevator. Cool. I'm heading up now. There's the black box. Okay. So I'm heading all the way back up with the black box as I expected. Bella, we really need you to tell us the truth here. What do you mean? I'm telling you the truth. I completed my task. I retrieved the black box from Pony Station. It looks like the cognito hazards really did a number on her. What are you talking about? I'm fine. Bella, there was no black box in sight when we found you. That's impossible. I'm positive. I, I know I had Make it. Make me want to change my in the escape elevator. Right now. <laughs> and there is no escape elevator in Pony Station. None of what you're saying adds up. That's impossible. It's just impossible. Look at me, Bella. Try and focus. What really happened? What really happened? Well, Bella. How is she supposed to remember if her memory has been completely fucking I, washed? I. I. Let's try this again. No, there's no mannequins here. Me is locked and it's standing between me and the other door that was opened. It took a while for it to get me there, that's weird. Yo, 
GM, what's up, man? Yeah, like I was like, it's wise to run. I can't outrun this fucking thing. I'm, I'm trying. It is wise. <laughs> and like, the mannequins aren't doing a good job of like pointing of where to go. They keeps point like at me. Head in the bed. All right, thanks for coming in, man. I appreciate you. Take it easy. Sleep well. I'm sure I'll talk to you tomorrow. Just chilling. That's good. Uh, trying to get through this section of this game. SCP Secret Files. I. It's like instant kill if I go in that direction. I don't. This is so weird. That much is for certain. How did that work? <laughs> uh, anyways, Tyler Cooper's Journal Part 4. The heroes have officially begun. Positively brilliant. My hands are shaking now as I write this experiment, the exciting avenues ahead. Although some sections stray from the original SCP 701 script, everyone remained perfectly in character. Holy consumed the <laughs> Wheeler. The audience, too, seemed to be entirely absorbed in the performance. <laughs> Ugh. The strange thing, though, I noticed a certain something, a person, perhaps, appearing on the stage. He was not one of their original members, but, well, he was quite reserved, rather friendly. A tribute to Ambassador Alagada. That is, it must be the truth. The splendid, magnificent truth. Hang the traitors. One in one, hang the betrayal and the ignorance. Together with the news, hang them to alert all the world. Cheers and cheers all around for our great king. Let us bask in this glory. Together we follow him. The blood of our uh, the blood of fools we offer to thee, hanged king. The ring that follows is obscured by blood stains. That's so weird. It went like this guy's talking about what was going on, and all of a sudden he was just like, "Can't stay long. Just wanted to interrupt you." Oh, well, thank you for interrupting. You always welcome to come in and interrupt me, sir. SCP seven hundred one is a script. One performance, and now all of Pony Station is ruined. Dr. Cooper, what have you done? Was this an accurate thing now? What's that? What is that? Animated doll? I am the cure. Oh! SCP-049, the plague doctor. I wonder if we're going to see him later. Act one. Interesting. King of Trinculo passes away and the king's brother Gonzalo secedes him as the new king. At the coronation, the drunken queen confesses that she colluded with Gonzalo to kill the old king and hang his body from a tree. The queen goes on to confess that the great nobleman Antonio is in fact the son of the old king and as such has legitimate claim to the throne. Antonio scoffs at this, but upon returning to the inn, he meets the ghost of the old king who confirms everything the queen has said. Blood we offered, the hanged king, king we served. I serve my king with my blood. Blissful suffocation, sacrifice of sin. Ay, ay, ay. I don't think I necessarily have to knock over all of these mannequins, but it's fun.
Hit it down here. No. Nope. Alright, let's head this way until I get chased again, I'm sure. Oh, shit. Oh, my fucking god. Oh my god. So like, here's one more for you. Interesting game mechanic. I serve my Who's there? My Thing again. Alright, so that's a, supposed to happen. Yikes. What the fuck? What's going on? It's the goddamn cognito hazard again. I need to leave right now. We did it. No. Oh god. I can't run to the mannequin. Ow! Keep running. Leave me alone. Ow. Yeah, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, Charles. Uh, I think this is the quote unquote end of one of the secret files. The worst is when all these people are still alive, and it turns out she killed them. Need, Need to leave. leave. Flash banged. They want me to go in? With my blood, I serve my king. 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 Jesus. With my blood, I serve my king. Oh. Did I just kill an anomaly? And then I passed out. Her condition is unstable. I've just injected her with a sedative. If you need to let her rest for a while. Thanks, Doctor. Well, let's go then. What? 
We haven't found the black box yet. You still don't get it, do you? Get what? What do you mean? A black box is merely a vehicle for recording the truth. But a black box isn't always a black box. You mean... That's right. She is now the black box. Huh, yeah. You got time for a cold one? Because our work here is done. I serve my king with my blood. Uh-oh. Blissful suffocation. Sacrifice of sin. Yikes. The black box has been properly contained at Site 105 and pending further investigation. Above is the full record of the inquiry. All right, so we did the random line. Uh, click after clicking the data dragging effect will be activated. Drag it to the archive system on the right. Left click to release data to be uploaded automatically. After entering all data into the archive system, click submit to complete the task. So the black box is the rely is the basically like recording of SCP seven hundred one's like w w what it did. That's wild. Of course, there's still like redacted shit and expunged shit. Interesting. Well, we could cement. I was, first first call. I was a bit confused at first, but I got over it. Food selling all throughout, and now I can handle these archives. These. Good. I have to admit, you know, worse than I expected. How about a taco night for celebration? So. Is so it really using a living being as a tool to contain anomalous objects? Hey, MIT boy. I've seen a great many field agents. They are prepared to sacrifice themselves at any time in order to complete a task. Secure, contain, protocol. For them, it is a creed worth paying the ultimate price for. It is our duty to record all of this truthfully and honestly, so that people may remember them forever. I understand. Anyway... Complete your first mission smoothly. We should celebrate. How about how about going for a drink? Old place. Count me in. Zoe likes to drink. That sounds cool, but I can't drink too much. Hey, how about a taco night? <laughs> or a donut night? Ay ay ay. Celebrate the completion of my first ever archive mission. My colleagues threw a small party. Started growing me, my colleagues in this place started to really enjoy all of it. It was all the drinking, I dreamt I was lost in a strange cave. It's dark and damp, it's all the decay, and in the depths of the darkness I saw at all times, two red dots, monitoring my every move. What a strange dream. Tequila's too strong of a drink. I need an espresso to sober me up. Okay. Cool. All right, so I think at this point, yeah, I think we're going to call it a night here. Let me just make sure my, you have already completed following 7457 and 701. Each two stages may be accessed and replayed through the files menu. Oh, okay, good to know. So that's basically the mission select. Got it. That's pretty cool. New setting. Okay, we're good to go. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right. Well. Wow. 
I appreciate everyone for uh, for hanging out. Oh, apparently Heavy shouted me out a couple minutes ago on his stream. He just told me. So guess what we're gonna do, everybody? We're gonna shout out Heavy. I just wanted to load it really quick. Oh, of course. I don't think he's even here on the list. He isn't. Damn it. I have to find a way to get that done properly. Shit. Um, donut sounds good. I could go for a donut. That'd be nice. Uh, so this game's pretty fun. Um, I'm liking the concept of where the main character is doing paper pushing work, but we go and relive the event. So we get to hear about these events that happened in the foundation, the different sites. Um, I'm assuming they start getting scarier too, like that. This one was definitely some creepy shit with the thing sprinting at us. A little annoying at one part, but is what it is. Um, yeah, shit. Um, I'm actually pretty tired, even though I'm on call. Uh, I may go to bed early tonight and just hopefully my phone doesn't ring. So let's see, who's on that we can raid tonight? Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, we got heavy. We got Kiwi, we got Nox, Diana. Oh, that's Dragon. Um, yeah, it's the Juggernaut, bitch! Much love, Juggy. Have a great night, my dude. Thank you, Budgie. Appreciate you. Thank you for the 200 biddies. It's very generous of you. Arco, I will have a great rest. Thank you very much for that. Um, you know what? Why don't we, uh, I haven't, I haven't raided, uh, Kiwi in a while. Let me pop open a window over here of her stream. Exit out of the game here. Perfect. Okay, great. Uh, so as usual, I'm going to, um, try and figure out, uh, not try and figure out, I will figure out where we are now because obviously uh, right now we're at the $500 mark but there's gonna be more in that with like the bits and the subs from today um so i'll be updating that in discord as well as twitter uh oh god this is an incentive and i missed it oh i'm already sub to so Hoke, uh, Polish wanted me to sub to his channel for six months, but he technically, I, I already, I already am. So, well, either way. Um, so yeah, look forward for those updates that'll be coming soon. Um, otherwise, uh, as we make the raid, if I'd super appreciate it, if everyone can use uh, one of the following. If you're a subscriber, use that line. If you're a follower, you can use the next line. Um, just based on what emotes you'd be able to use. So when we get over to Kiwi Stream, if you could just go ahead and just, you know, smack that in there, uh, that'd be pretty cool if you could. Uh, other than that, let's kick off this uh, this raid. All right, we're heading out. Cool, great, grand. Uh, I appreciate everybody again for the continued support and generosity uh, through Jugtober. We're not even halfway through yet. We're having lots of fun. I want to play some more of this uh, SCP Secret Files, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, we'll see what happens though. Uh, but until then, I hope you all have a lovely evening or day wherever you happen to be. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I'm out. See ya.